The first task you will tackle is completing the design and layout of the proportional symbols. There are four issues we need to resolve, uh, the addition of symbols, the removal of duplicated symbols, placement of symbols, and transparency of symbols. And we're going to tackle these issues in the order listed. One thing to note before you begin, depending on the scale and extent of the map uh, as set in QGIS, you may have more or less circles than what is displayed and instructed in this lab. If so, either add and scale or remove symbols as appropriate and we're going to purposely maybe delete um, some symbols uh, so that uh, we can show you how to add and scale or remove symbols. So I have an Inkscape 0.48, uh, the Syria and IDP map uh, uh, composition that we completed in Lab 4. And the first thing I want to do is I want to open up the layer panel and unlock the proportional symbols layer and make sure that all other layers are locked so I don't accidentally uh, move or edit them. I'm then going to use my select tool to select the proportional symbols and then ungroup them multiple times until I see the selection box around each individual circle. And there we have it there. Okay so now <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to uh, create a new proportional symbol for say Turkey so I'm going to delete the one for Turkey right now and I'm going to duplicate say Lebanon's because I'm going to use that as my baseline for determining the new size of Turkey's proportional symbol and if you had uh, other symbols missing you would then drag them to the appropriate places okay so now that I have a uh, symbol for Turkey um, I need to set them to their correct relative sizes so recall that Lebanon uh, which is the duplicated circle, so this is Lebanon's circle here, has 980,731 refugees. That's what the circle represents. And Turkey's represents 647,379. So the, the Turkey uh, symbol should be about 66% of the size of the Lebanon circle. So we can use these values to scale the Turkey symbols down to its proper size by determining the ratio of sizes. If we divide the Turkey refugees population by the Lebanon refugee population and multiply the area of, Tur uh, of uh, Lebanon's symbol by that percentage, we're going to have the proper symbol size. And this would work uh, the same for any other country that you needed to manually add a proportional symbol for. All right, so let's, let's uh, do this now. So first I want to divide Lebanon's a refugee population into Turkey's refu refugee population. So I'm going to bring up a calculator here and I'm going to take uh, Turkey's refugee population which is 647,379 and divide it by Lebanon's which is 980,731 and that gives me 0.66 which represents 66% of uh, the size. So that's how much smaller the Turkey symbol should be uh, compared to the Lebanon symbol. Okay, so now I need to find out well, what's the actual size. So the uh, in pixels, the width is 100 and let's uh, 59. So let's just say 160 to make it a nice round number. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take 66. I'm sorry, uh, 160, and I'm going to square that. Um, and then I'm going to multiply that by 0.66. Then I'm going to take the square root, and that tells me that the symbol size for Turkey should be uh, 129.9, so we're going to round that up to 130. So I'm going to select um, this, and we're going to do, uh, I already forgot, 130. Oops, and I forgot to lock my aspect ratio. There we go. 130, and now we have it uh, scaled down to the proper size. Okay, and uh, now that uh, we have the uh, a scaled down version, the line thickness is actually going to be smaller. <clears throat> so for instance, if I choose the Lebanon circle and I open up the uh, text uh, fill and stroke panel, notice that the stroke width is 2.93. But when I choose turkeys, it's 2.39. So I need to change that back to 2.93. That way they all have the same line thickness still. All right, so now we can remove the duplicated Egypt symbols. So I have three of them for Egypt, so I can just click on any one of them, right click and say delete. Do that for this one here, they're all the same. Okay, so now that we have the correct number and size of proportional symbols, we need to move and arrange them on the map for maximum impact and attractiveness. And so I'm gonna use the select tool and I'm going to 
move these circles to their relative positions where I want them to be. And let me do a little bit of that. And it's okay for the symbols to overlap. In fact, that'll add to a little bit of the impact if you do that. So that's, that's, quite, that's quite okay. And we're going to make these symbols uh, partially transparent later so you can actually see uh, what's underneath it as well. So I'm going to say I'm pretty happy with this. Um, so let's, let's say we're good to go here. Okay, so um, now that we have the circle sized and placed, uh, let's tackle the transparency. And so while it's possible to set the transparency for each individual symbol, we're going to set the layers transparency, uh, or opacity as Inkscape calls it, uh, which will set the opacity for every symbol all at once, and it'll be consistent. And this is going to provide that quick, simple way to apply the opacity to all objects in the layer. So again, I'm going to open up the uh, layer panel. Here it is here. I'm going to select proportional symbols. Make sure nothing is selected uh, on the map, and I'm going to set the opacity to 60%. So I put in 60 and I hit enter on the keyboard. I'm then going to lock on proportional symbols layer so I don't accidentally modify it. And so now we have our symbols in a good location, have the opacity set so we can see the terrain and boundaries behind them, and the red symbols cut into the purple symbols uh, so that we have a little bit more impact.